Hello and welcome. In today's video, we'll be doing a full review of a product I was eager to test, the Easy SMX M15. This is a versatile controller, compatible with practically any Android or iOS device. It allows you to play on emulators, native games, and even use game streaming apps like Game Pass, Steam Link, GeForce Now, and Amazon Luna. I've been using the M15 for over a week and will share with you the key features and functionalities it offers. Spoiler alert, this controller comes with impressive integrated technology, making it a great choice, especially for those who, like me, enjoy gaming while lying down before bed. And the best part? The price is affordable and fits nearly any budget. Opening the cardboard box, we find the controller securely protected in a plastic case, ensuring it doesn't move or get damaged during transport. Additionally, the package includes a multilingual instruction manual covering English, German, Italian, French, Spanish, Japanese, and Chinese. The manual is quite detailed, explaining functions like the turbo mode, configuring the LT and RT triggers for linear mode, volume control shortcuts, and even the screenshot feature. Another interesting functionality is the ability to swap the button layout to match the switch standard, reversing the ABXY button positions. Overall, it's a well thought out manual, especially useful for exploring all the M15's features. Removing the controller from the packaging, you can immediately notice its high quality finish, with the brand name in glossy lettering. The digital D-pad is reminiscent of the PlayStation controllers, featuring a single cross-shaped piece. While it's a click-based D-pad, I found it softer than that of the Xbox Series controller, which was a pleasant surprise. As a fan of fighting games, I tested the M15 on a title in the genre, and the results were excellent. Precise gameplay that allowed special moves to be executed easily, even on the first try. The analog sticks are also smaller than usual but deliver incredible precision. They use Hall Effect technology, meaning you can say goodbye to the dreaded drift problem. The face buttons follow the Xbox standard but can be swapped via software, as explained in the manual. This is an extremely useful feature for those who play Switch or 3DS emulators and prefer those consoles' default layout. The face buttons are also click-based, ensuring impressive durability. On the sides, there are two small function buttons, along with the classic start and back buttons. At the top, you'll find the LB, LT, RB, and RT buttons. The LB and RB are click-based and have a smooth response, less stiff, than the Xbox Series controllers. The LT and RT triggers are analog by default. Initially, they may feel slightly stiff, but that's normal for new controllers. The trigger travel and shape are similar to the DualShock 4, which many players might find appealing. At the back, the M15 features two additional buttons that can be programmed to simulate any other button, adding customization to your gameplay. On the sides, the controller has a USB-C port, allowing you to charge your device while playing, as this same connection is responsible for data transmission. To ensure a solid grip, the controller's sides are textured, using a pattern similar to the latest Xbox controllers. This offers comfort even during long gaming sessions. Additionally, the rubberized finish around the USB-C port prevents damage when connecting the device, ensuring flexibility for a secure and practical fit. The M15 supports several operating modes. Android mode, yellow light, set it by pressing Fn and A for 2 seconds. Ideal for native Android games compatible with external controllers. Xbox mode, white light, recognized as an Xbox 360 controller. This mode is perfect for emulators like Duck Station and Lime 3DS, which automatically configure the buttons. Virtual Touch Mode Blue Light, used for interactions that simulate touchscreen input. Apple Mode Green Light, compatible with iOS devices, automatically configuring itself upon connection. Bluetooth Mode Press FN and Turbo for 2 seconds. Although data is transferred via Bluetooth, the controller still needs to be connected via USB-C for power. In this mode, the M15 is recognized as an Xbox 360 controller by the X-Input API. To test the controller's precision, I used the GamePad Tester website, where you can quickly check the response of the buttons and the dead zone, which in the case of the M15, is virtually zero. Even after rotating both analog sticks several times, 
the dead zone remained nearly non-existent. We also performed a circularity test on both analog sticks to measure the precision of their movements, and the result was impressive, just 0.1% error. When comparing the M15 to other controllers, such as the Xbox Series and DualShock 4, the difference is noticeable. Both showed a considerably larger dead zone, especially Sony's analog sticks, which often have related issues. The M15 standout feature is its absolute precision, while Microsoft and Sony controllers showed around 10% precision error. The M15 stood out with an almost negligible margin. But isn't this a testing channel? We've only had one game test so far, so let's do a few more. The first test was with Steam Link. For those who don't know, it's an app that allows you to stream almost any game from your PC to other devices. I chose Cuphead as the first game, as its gameplay requires absolute precision and flawless response time. As you can see, I'm able to defeat the bosses easily without even getting hit once. Next, I tested the controller with Cyberpunk 2077, running at max settings with ray tracing, directly on my phone. I admit I fumbled a bit since I'm not used to playing this title with a controller, but I managed to demonstrate how the analog triggers work. During the gameplay, it became clear that the LT and RT triggers have great linearity, allowing me to accelerate and brake gradually while driving. Lastly, and by no means least, I tested the controller with emulators. I chose Duck Station to show how the X input mode automatically maps the buttons. Despite being a compact controller, it provided a comfortable and precise experience. Additionally, I played Lime 3DS for over two hours, without recording, and I can assure you that there was no discomfort, even in long sessions. In conclusion, I highly recommend the Easy SMX M15. It offers great value for money and incredible portability allowing you to gain wherever you want with quality and precision. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so I can bring more reviews of affordable and high-quality products. Thank you for your audience, and see you in the next video.